Hello folks, this is Sue Bell from NetworkEmpire.com and ThemeZoom.com and we're back for part two where we're looking at building out a local website for Nashville SEO and we've got the list of products and we've got our list of panes out of Pane Finder and now we're taking a look at the last keyword tool which is fresh out of the box with some new enhancements and, um, and we're going to see what we can find in the way of appropriate keywords for our products. So we're going to start here with, um, I'm actually on the last one, let me flip back to the first one, SEO. So now check this out, all right, this is what I love about this graph. We went from um, web design, which is mostly green, saying that there are a lot of keywords in this particular market that are fairly easy to rank for, to SEO, which says, you got to be crazy if you want to rank for these keywords. <laughs> All right. So the cool thing about it is we're doing a local site, so that's going to bring down the competitive level on a lot of these keywords, and we won't find it to be so hard. So let's just, let's review what we were looking at with SEO consulting. We're looking for advice, we're looking for tools, we're looking for Panda and Penguin, and we're looking for secrets and tips. So those were the kinds of pain points, that the things that people were talking about a lot and had a, showed a lot of interest in. So um, so let's just go quickly down the list. Let's. Um, I probably have some filters here because I've been playing. Let me just put this on pause, pause and clear my filters for a second. Actually, I can show you the new clear filter screens. So come in here to filter and we can clear the filter and then we can apply that and we should all be good. Actually, the apply might have been part and parcel to it. It's a brand new feature. I'm still figuring out how all this works. So Larry, I'll go ahead and keep Larry in there. That's um, the theme relevance indicator. That's kind of a nice thing to have over here on the side. So as we're looking at SEO, obviously search engine is going to be the most relevant thing. And you look down here at the cost per clicks on these keywords. These are some healthy cost per clicks. These are some pretty expensive things. And we're getting here to less relevant items. We've got a lot of one word keywords and come all the way down here to the bottom. We've got clicks, agencies, consultants, and all the way at the very bottom, Mozilla Firefox extension. So it's interesting to just kind of get a feel for what some of the tangent ideas on SEO are. So I'm, I'm just curious here. I, I want to do a search for Panda and see if it comes up anywhere in the... Oh, you know why the Panda penalty comes up? It's because I threw it in. I did this... Uh, I used this drill actually on a webinar the other day and I threw in Panda penalty. Um, as a keyword just to show guys what was going on and aside from that there's no other panda keyword in this drill. Alright, so um, what we really want to do is uh, get this down to a list of keywords that are actually going to be valuable to us and then add Nashville to it to see what's going on. So let's just take a look to start with. I'm, I'm going to do some pretty crazy things here with a filter. So. Um, it's more just to sh kind of show you what's going on, so don't get intimidated, all right? Um, I want to take a look at the number of keywords, the number of terms that only have a single um, keyword in them. So keyword term count equals one. Let's just look at those for a moment. Um, all right, so we've got SEO, search, engine, marketing, links. Now let's just imagine if we had Nashville on the front end of this. Nashville SEO, Nashville search, Nashville engine doesn't make any sense, Nashville marketing, Nashville link, that doesn't make any sense, Google, Nashville optimization, Nashville services. Some of those are still a bit broad, but things like Nashville SEO, that makes sense. Um, Nashville pay-per-click would make sense. Um, Nashville consultants, that's still really broad. There's all different kinds of consultants. Um, so there's a few of these keywords that make sense, but as I start to get down here toward the bottom, encyclopedia, tutoring, like those, those start to get really kind of weird. So you got SEO consultants, but obviously it's all one word. So if it were like Nashville SEO space consultants, which I'm sure is there with a the space in it as well, then that would make more sense. So there's really only a couple of words in this list that I'm interested um, that I would find interesting, SEO being one of them. So um, so I think what I'm going to do is over here on my handy dandy little list, I'm just going to have like Nashville, oops, 
SEO. I'm just going to put that down as a reminder that I want that keyword and I think the rest of these single terms I can lose. So that's one of the things that I wanted to kind of figure out here. So I'm going to go back to my um, filter here for a second and I'm going to say is greater than one. Whoops, greater than one. Honest I am. Apply that filter. And now if I take a look, I've got like Nashville SEO services, um, Nashville SEO company, I'd probably say like best Nashville SEO company, search Nash Nashville search engine marketing. So these start to make a lot more sense um, in terms of the keywords that I want and I could probably go with like SEO services or SEO company um, and I probably don't need this really ultra broad national uh, Nashville SEO but I'm going to keep it on my list anyway because I suspect that Nashville SEO, I mean that's in my URL string and um, and I don't think it's going to be a hard term to rank for. In fact, I, th I think Greg already ranked for it, ranked the homepage for it. So, so um, let's talk about where we're going to go from here. Like, how am I going to take this keyword, the set of keywords, and get Nashville in them? And do I need to do anything in terms of sorting some of these out? So the next thing that I want to look at, like, th this is on a broad level. Um, this is broad search. Um, so, so this is broad search, daily broad search, um, broad match searches, and this is broad cost per click and clicks per day, okay? And it's on a national level. And so when I look at this and I think, all right, I have on a national level, I have 100 searches a day for SEO services. And that means, you know, when you look at the top 100 cities and you've got like 20 cities that are metropolitan areas and I don't think I would include Nashville as being one of those metropolitan areas. So, you know, 20, 20 metropolitan areas probably got two or three searches a day and, and then the larger cities have probably got one search a day. And so by the time you get down to Nashville, you're not going to have more than a search a day, would be my guess, on that particular term for the Nashville area. So, when I think about that in along those lines, then I want to have like a minimum of a hundred. I'm really not interested. If I'm not getting at least a search a day, I'm not interested. Now, when I actually append, prepend or append Nashville to the keywords and I put it back in, you're going to find most nearly everything comes back with zeros and that's just a lie. The reason that it comes back with zeros is because nobody's bidding on the term. That doesn't mean that there's not traffic on the term. It just means Google's not tracking what the traffic is. So you can't go by what, we, we get that data out of the new keyword planner and you just can't go by the data that's in the keyword planner. It's just not going to show you all the real stories when you actually rank for Nashville SEO services. You're going to see that there's traffic there, even though you throw it back into the keyword planner and keyword planner is going to say, mm, there's not any traffic here. The reason being they want you to actually, um, they would rather you come at it from a different perspective. They would rather that you put your ads in for the broad match, for the, the national level term, and then limit the area in which you want to do your uh, pay-per-click rather than, that's nice, thank you, rather than um, than actually having it, um, having the, the local keyword in the keyword itself, the locale in the keyword. So with that in mind, um, you just know that once you put your locale in the keyword, you take it with a grain of salt uh, when, you, when you're looking at these stats. All right, so what I want to do in, along those lines, um, I want to come back here to my filter and I'm going to show my options and I want to say where the searches, searches per day, are greater than 100. All right. Let's apply that. Okay, so now we've got a more interesting set of keywords. Now we've also got like web design company, meta tags, career, de career development. Like this is where it just starts to get a little bit weird. Reputation management, that's one of my keywords. Social media marketing, those are my keywords. But this, these, these are not my keywords. So this is why I say the cutoff is somewhere around 50. In this case, the cutoff is 
42, right? I don't want anything that's not, um, I, I want stuff with a Larry of 45 and above. So that's going to give me a pretty short list, but that's, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to come in here. I just want to grab my filter for a second because I like my filter. And I'm going to close it for a second. We've got these shortcuts over here. Just added them. And what I want is stuff that's highly relevant. Now when I click that, it automatically puts Larry into my filter for me. And it gives me a Larry of 60. Now as we just talked, I, what I really want is a Larry of 45. And I want the rest of my filter because I liked it. And so I'm going to apply this. And this is going to bring me back just that top level bit of things. Okay? All right, so that's cool. Now I'm going to export this and I'm going to open it up in, uh, I don't want to open it in Notepad, so I'm just going to save it and I'm going to pause for a second and open it up in the spreadsheet. Okay, so here we have my data in a spreadsheet and I'll just like slide that over so that it fits in my little recording area here. And what I want to do now is I'm going to insert a column and this column is going to be Nashville. And grab that and just bring that all the way down here. Okay. Now I want to insert another column over here. And this is going to be where I concatenate Nashville to search engines, SEO services, all that kind of good stuff. Let me get that concatenation string. I'll be right back. All right. So let me show you what this is. It's equals A2 ampersand sign quotes, a space, ampersand, B2. So what this is going to do is it's going to take A2 and it's going to concatenate it with B2 and it's going to put a space in between. All right? So it ends up coming out Nashville search engine, which is exactly what we want. Now Nashville search engine isn't actually a keyword that I'm, want, I'm particularly interested in. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill this line. So we got Nashville SEO services, tools, company, search engine marketing, optimization, marketing, online marketing, top search engines. I'm not really interested in that either. Delete you. Social media reputation management. All right, I like those keywords. I'm going to drop those back into this particular drill. I'm going to import keywords. And I'm going to import those keywords. Now I'm going to come back here for a second and I'm just going to take a look at this idea. I was looking for advice, which is going to be in services. That's a way of expressing um, giving advice. Um, I'm looking for tools or, or people that were looking for tools. Tools were one of the pains. I might offer free tools or something like that on my site or at least talk about the tools that I use. Panda or Penguin, I already, uh, I already did a panda or a penguin keyword and secrets and tips now interestingly enough we don't have anything here in here about secrets or tips it doesn't mean that I have to have a keyword that actually specifically goes along those lines but it's just something that I'm like kind of keeping in the back of my head I might do another drill and take a look for like SEO secrets I could go in fact let me do that let me just log into uh, to the last keyword here on another screen and just look at SEO tips. And as I create this new project, now I don't know how familiar you guys are with um, with the last keyword tool, but you've got all of these different countries and, and uh, languages that you can drill into. So SEO um, tips. Let's try that tips, secrets, yeah that should work. Alright, so I'm going to let that go off and run for a minute. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to import this and take out that last blank line. Alright, so now it's off and running and I'm going to move on to the next topic. So I've got online marketing and I'm going to do a very similar thing with this. Now the cool thing about um, Teal KT is if I do a refresh, I already had the screen open, so my uh, my filters weren't in place. But now that I do a refresh, you can see that I filtered down to 20 of 169 different keywords. And so this is giving me 
the best of the best based on the filter that I had. And let's just look at that filter again for a second. So the filter was a Larry of greater than 45, keyword term greater than one, so it's got more than one keyword in the keyword phrase, and the searches per day are greater than 100. I like that. I'm going to hang with that. And um, I think we can just export this into another spreadsheet and do the same thing again with inserting Nashville in the front of it. Oh, you know what? I can show you one other thing. Hang on just a sec. So there's another tool I have that you can use. If you like really, like if the spreadsheet thing is just like, ew, I don't want to deal with that, there is a tool out there on ranks.nl. Um, I'll give you the link to it where you can do this exact same thing. So I'm still going to export it. I still need my list of keywords, right? So um, give me my list. It's going to export it. Just a sec. All right, so here's my keyword list. So I can grab my keyword list. Control C that bad boy. And I can come over here to, um, I want Nashville in front. Actually, this, I think this will do both in front and behind. And make reverse combinations. So if I want it to be both in front and behind, add the words and phrases from the, just show me the results yet. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I didn't do the captcha boogie. Hang on. That's the problem with using free tools, right? Let's try again. Submit. What? V, V, H. Why doesn't it like this? I'm going to pause this until I get it figured out. Alright, so just had to refresh it, get a new CAPTCHA. We're good. It gave me 61 results, and you can see sometimes Nashville is in front, and sometimes Nashville is in the end. So I can select all 61 of those, copy those bad boys, come back here to where I just was in, uh, in online marketing, and I'm going to import them into online marketing. And so the advantage of this is it's a little bit quicker and easier than uh, than the spreadsheet, and you get the Nashville in front and behind. All right, so I'm going to do a very similar thing with um, the reputation management and social media marketing, web design, and oh, that's just my list. All right, so I'm going to do the, the same thing with my other three topics, and I'll be back in, in the next video.